From over 28 billion light years away, the James Webb Space Telescope captured a new image of the farthest distant individual star ever observed. We can normally see complete galaxies at such great distances, but a fortunate chance allowed astronomers to see this star, dubbed Irindel, using the Hubble Space Telescope and then viewed it again with the JWST on July 30th. Irindel, which means dawn star or rising light, lives in the Sunrise Arc galaxy. Its light has been stretched into a long arc by the gravity of the galaxy cluster closer to Earth, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. This procedure also enlarged the galaxy by more than a thousand times, allowing scientists to confirm with the JWST that Arendelle is a single star, rather than a cluster of hundreds. We can observe Arendelle because it is precisely aligned with the galaxy cluster, providing the highest magnification conceivable. That's an extremely fortuitous alignment says Dan Coe, a member of the team that performed the latest observations. No one has ever seen a star this magnified, let alone a galaxy. Arendelle is more than 10 billion light years away from the next farthest star discovered by scientists. We are now seeing Arendelle roughly 900 million years after the Big Bang because light takes time to travel. Because heavier elements were produced over time in supernovae, stars in the early cosmos are predicted to have different chemical compositions than contemporary stars. Not enough supernovae happened back then to fill space with the elements that are so abundant now. The next batch of JWST observations for Coe's team, scheduled for around December, should reveal more about Arendelle and the Sunrise Arc. We were all composed of star stuff, but that material didn't exist in the early cosmos, Coe explains. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to see if heavy metals were present in this star 13 billion years ago. If you want to learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope and stay up to date, like, subscribe, check our previous videos, and if you love reading, visit our website at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.